Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To schedule an appointment in Outlook, open the calendar folder. Then click the New Appointment button that appears in the New button group on the Home tab of the ribbon. The appointment window then opens. Type a description of the appointment into the title field. Then enter the appointment's location into the Location field if needed. To set a start time and end time for the appointment, click the calendar icon to the right of the Start Time label. Then select a date from the calendar drop-down. Then click the Time drop-down to the right of the date and select the appointment's start time. Repeat the same process to set the end time for the appointment. To add time zones, if needed and if available, check the Time Zones checkbox to the right. Then use the two new time zone fields that appear to the right of the Start Time and End Time labels to select the desired time zones. Alternatively, to make an all-day appointment, check the All Day checkbox. Note that doing this disables the start and end times and sets them both to 12 a.m. Click the Appointment tab of the ribbon in the Appointment window if needed to view the buttons that appear in the Options button group. To set an appointment reminder, click the drop-down to the right of the Reminder label to select the amount of time before the appointment at which you want Outlook to remind you of the appointment. To disable the appointment reminder, simply select the None choice from the drop-down menu. To set how to show the appointment time to others who want to invite you to a meeting if using the scheduling feature of Outlook, click the drop-down to the right of the Show As field. Then select the appropriate time designation from the list. To set a pattern of recurrence for this appointment, click the Recurrence button in this button group or click the Make Recurring link in the appointment window to open the Appointment Recurrence dialog box. Use this dialog box to set the appointment's recurrence pattern and then click the OK button to apply it. Setting recurrence is discussed in greater detail in the later lesson titled 6.11, Setting Recurrence in this chapter. To categorize the appointment, click the Categorize button in the Tags button group on the Appointment tab of the ribbon in the Appointment window. Then choose a category from the drop-down menu. If you have an Outlook delegate to whom you have given calendar access, but you do not want them to see this appointment, then click the Private button in this button group to hide it from your delegates or anyone else that can view your calendar. To set the importance of the appointment, click either the High Importance or Low Importance buttons in the same button group. Finally, enter any appointment notes into the large text box at the bottom of the appointment window. To save the appointment into your calendar after creating the appointment item, click the Save and Close button in the appointment window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.